Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to be sharing with you um, my Lush products um, and my likes and dislikes. I want to say just a couple of items that I maybe didn't get along with um, and who knows you might get along with them but I didn't. Um, so I'm just going to show you um, what I use and I've been using and I hope you enjoyed the video so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about um, are the cleansers. And this is just one that I have, um, I got around Christmas time. I want to say around November time I actually got this one. And it's from the Christmas collection. And I love how they have a lot of seasonal items. And this is the um, Fuchs de Noel Fresh Cleanser. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Um, and it's this is what it looks like inside and it has um, it says a delicious fruity boozy concoction packed with ground almonds cranberries and a drop of brandy for a, a drop of brandy for an elfy grow and I have been living this um, particular face cleanser for such a long time I can remember buying this in like 2006 I want to say um and i loved it ever since so whenever it comes out christmas time i make sure that i grab this one because i have really sensitive um dry skin and i mix this with one of my other cleansers and it just works really really like beautifully and another one that i have got now um that i'm going to be using next is called let the good times roll now i haven't, I haven't used this one before but I've read a lot of good things about it and it's another fresh cleanser and these last about three months and this one it says a classic scrub story for your skin starring exfoliating polenta hydrating corn oil and plenty of popcorn and I was super intrigued by this one because um, people say that it smells like popcorn other people say it smells like banana bread to me it smells like the caramelly like a caramelly banana bread, something like a, I want to say like a bit something, one of those bakery items um, that has like caramel in there. It reminds me of a bakery, it kind of reminds me of Bread Talk in Singapore, if you know what I'm talking about. There's a shop called Bread Talk and that's what this smells like and it looks like that inside so you just take a little squidge of this off um, and then rub it, mix it with a little bit of water and then just like um, put it all over your face and then rinse it off and that's what you do and I'm super excited to try this one next and it actually looks like it has a little bit of popcorn in there as well so those are the two of the fresh cleansers. Another fresh cleanser that I've used before is called Herbalism and it's like a green herby, herbally um, mask but i i think that one is for more sort of oily skin and mine is super super dry and it smells amazing that one but it's just not for my skin type so the next thing that i'm going to talk about are these um dusting powders and i have hydratinitis supportiva and that is like a skin a skin issue and this gym slip one is the one that has been brilliant for me um, because I've been able to use that as a deodorant um, when I couldn't use a normal deodorant. This one worked for me and kept me like dry all day. And then the other one that I have is called Fairy Dust and that is like the Snow Fairy scent. If you know that one is, if you don't, then this one smells like the Snow Fairy shower gel and the Rockstar soap and all of that kind of thing. Um, but the Gym Slip one has actually been discontinued, so I'm a bit upset about that um and i i'm gonna try another one uh but this one it just smells so so nice it's kind of like a bit of a sweet scent but a little tiny bit herbally at the same time um and it says that it has bergamot and neroli in this one um with a hint of talc 
and it just I, I just really love this one so much so these dusting powders they're a little bit more gritty than a normal like baby powder um but i just find that a little goes a long way and they do work really well for my sensitive skin so i would definitely recommend these especially the green uh, the green the gym slip i was about to say greench because the greench one is one that i am going to be using next because they have discontinued my gym slip one and i don't have much left so i've had to buy one called the greench and people are saying that that is really good for my condition as well next i'm going to talk about this toner water and this one is called Eroma water and this is amazing i have sabor seboric dermatitis as well on my skin um on my face and sometimes my face can be really really red and really like the skin can be peeling um, and it's just horrible and this one has really helped me so much so what i actually do is after I have cleansed my skin, I use my moisturiser and then I spray this on um, after my moisturiser. Um, I did try this before my moisturiser and it kind of burned my skin because that's because my skin is so damaged and so like fragile. Um, but this one really it adds extra moisture um, to my moisturiser so it keeps my skin a lot more moisturized for longer and it says that it has lavender and rose waters it says lavender and rose waters are like an afternoon tea for your face quenching calming and balancing the skin uh, forget etiquette spritz it liberally liberally wherever you like and this one is the medium size 250 gram i'd definitely be buying this one again i've used this every day for about two months now i think and i still have loads left so once this gets to the end, I'm definitely going to buy this one again because that one, this I think is definitely worth it. And it smells really, really good as well. So that's a big bonus. Um, the next thing that I'm going to tell you about are body lotions. So this one is called Dream Cream. This one is a classic favourite of a lot of people. This worked so well on my child's eczema when nothing else would we had so many creams from the doctors and nothing worked but this one really helped to calm everything down um, and I've used this on myself a couple of times and it's really helped me when I've had like any um, spots or redness um, on, on my body and I absolutely love it and I will keep buying it. The only thing I don't like is the price keeps going up of this one and uh, this is the self-preserving one you can get the original one as well um, the reason why we got the self-preserving one was because they didn't have any of the normal original one left when we bought it from the shop. We bought this one quite a while ago, so I don't have much of it left. Um, you can see there, we've used quite a lot of it and it smells just so amazing. It is, it's kind of like, it says that it's good for sensitive skin, um, which definitely is. Um, let me just check what it has. It's... It has oat milk in it, that's what it smells of, like oats, it has virgin olive oil, rose water, fair trade, cocoa butter and this is definitely a plus and something that I would definitely recommend for sensitive skin, you want to try this one. Another body lotion that I have is this one called Sleepy and when I open it, I've had this for quite a while as well, I haven't used it that much. It's kind of like a, you can't really tell on the camera, but it's kind of like a light, a very light, like purple, a very light lilac-y colour. Um, it smells of lavender. It's supposed to help you sleep. I don't know if this works. I've used it a couple of times and I have no idea. I can't really say that this has worked or it hasn't worked because I really don't know. Um, but it says, cook yourself in dreamy touches of oat meal infusion, lavender water and heavenly fair trade organic cocoa butter. And I did have a shower gel of this one um, a few years ago as well, which I didn't really like that much. Um, but I do like the scent of this one and I am going to keep using it and see if it works. But a lot of people rave about this one online as well and said a lot of people have said that it actually does help them to sleep. So if you want to give it a go as a body lotion, um, then try it and let me know how you get on with it. And another body lotion that I have is 
this one here that I got on the Christmas sale called Once Upon a Time. This is quite grown on me. It's like a silicon lime um, flavour one. It's quite light and subtle. Um, and it's like a pale green colour inside. And the scent of it actually has grown on me quite a lot. You can see it's a bit of a pale green. I do get quite a lot. This is the big... Um, I always tend to go for the bigger tubs this is the 225 gram i think that they did like half of the size of this one as well but i always tend to go for the bigger ones because i know that i'm probably not going to buy it again for a while so i may as well get the big one um the body lotions can be quite thick Um, sometimes i haven't got along with them that well in the past when i've had breakouts from some of my skin problems um so there is another product that they came out with actually in 2020 um and it is the body milk and this is a lot thinner texture than the body lotions and this is probably my favorite one from all of them because it is in the yognog flavor and that was one of the christmas um specials the yognog i think it's i'm not sure if it's come out a couple year a couple times now but i know that the body milk only came out in 2020 um, in their Christmas collection and it says who can resist the comfort of Christmas dessert wrap your skin in this sweet and lightweight body milk full of clove oil to leave your skin radiant and I got along really well with this and I hadn't been able to use um, many scented products for such a long time because of my skin I kept getting red spots um, and it was just awful but I got along with this one really well and the shower gel which I will show you in a minute um, but I was so happy that I was able to use something that didn't I didn't react to. And it's like a really thin consistency. It's like quite, um, it's very liquidy. And it just smells so, so good. You can definitely smell the clove oil in there. Um, it's quite a strong scent and it lasts for such a long time as well. And this was the 240 gram bottle. This was the biggest size that they did um, for this body milk. And I hope that mm, the end of this year they come out with a bigger size. Um, because I'm trying to use it sparingly now because they don't do it anymore. Obviously, the Christmas items finish and then they probably don't come out again till, an, till the end of the year. But that is definitely one thing that I love about Lush. That they do the seasonal products um, and they always have something new coming out. Um, so yeah, so that's the Yognog Body Milk. Okay, so next up are shower gels. And I have so many Lush shower gels and I absolutely love them. Um, so this one is the Yognog from the Christmas collection and it's at the 550 gram. This is probably my favourite shower gel that I've ever used from Lush and that's because the texture is just amazing. I love the texture of it and I love the scent and the texture is so silky, glossy and smooth. Nothing like one of the, sh nothing like any of the shower gels that I've ever used from them before. It just glides on your skin and it makes, it makes you feeling moisturized previously when i've used some of the shower gels in the past i've come out with still really dry skin but this one it's really really good especially for super dry skin and i think that really helps with anyone during the winter to be honest so that is the yognog one and then another one that i want to show you is um this one here it's called lord of um miss rule and i don't know if this is from halloween or i don't know if it's a seasonal product this was an exclusive on their website, so I'm not sure if it's available on the stores. But this one, it's um, it says it's earthy, simulating black peppercorn and patchouli, um, carrageenan seaweed, softens the skin. And I, I haven't used it yet, but the smell of this is amazing. And to me, um, there was a Christmas shower gel that I had a couple of years ago, and I think it was called like santa or it, was, it had santa in its name anyways and it smelled like cola and it was red and it smells like this like this one smells like that santa one that's what it reminds me of so if you know which santa shower gel i'm talking about you're probably gonna like this and this is the 270 gram this is the medium size so if you are interested in this then check it out on the website i think it's still on there as an exclusive um but i just love how like strong the shower gels are and the all kinds of different smells and scents and i feel like they have really upped the game um with shower gels now like back in 
the early 2000s when I did get Lush items. Um, they were so different then. Now they are a lot more moisturising, which is definitely a plus for me. Okay, next I'm going to talk about um, shampoos and conditioners and shampoo bars. So this next item is called um, Fairly Traded Honey and this is a shampoo and it smells, it reminds me of the Herbalism um, face cleanser. It's a very herbally smell. It says that it is harvested with Zamb Zambian honey and divinely perfumed blossom and it's a really thick texture. This is the medium size, 300 grams. It's a um, thick texture, it smells amazing. Um, I'm not sure if it's moisturising or anything. I didn't really notice a difference with my hair, apart from the fact that I don't really get along with it because it makes my it makes my scalp really really itchy. Um, so I have tried to use it like not on my scalp. I've tried to use um a scalp shampoo on my scalp, like a different shampoo on my scalp, and then try to just use these on the length of my hair and everything. So I'm probably gonna have to keep doing that because. When I used it, my scalp was just super, super itchy afterwards. So I didn't really get along with this one, but which is a shame um, because it smells really, really good. And I really wanted to enjoy it and like it because a lot of people love this one. People were talking about this everywhere and loving it. And even people get it in like the biggest, biggest of bottles I've seen on YouTube. So I was a bit disappointed that it didn't work for me. Um, but not everything works for everybody, I suppose. Um, next up is the hair conditioner, which is American Cream. I was super excited about getting this one too. Um, and it smells really, really good. It says it's a strawberry loving milkshake scented cheerleader for silky Hollywood hair. Um, warning has been known to bring boys to the yard. So this hair conditioner, um, it says that it smells like strawberry milkshake or it's meant to smell like strawberry milkshake. It doesn't really smell like strawberry milkshake to me. It smells very, very like... It smells like a, a perfume, um, it's a very perfume smell, but I definitely don't get any strawberry in there. It smells nice, I'm not saying that it doesn't smell nice, it smells nice but it doesn't to me smell like strawberry at all, um, but it didn't really detangle my hair and I need something to kind of make my hair detangled um, and this was not it unfortunately, it's such a shame because it is such a, like, a nice smelling shampoo, but my hair was just in knots after using it and it didn't really do anything for the dryness of my hair either. So I'm not really sure who this is kind of for. Maybe it's for people with short hair, I really don't know. But for someone with long hair like me, my hair is like, well, you know, it's like just past my shoulders. Um, It's not that long, but it just it's just such a shame that this one was a bit of a no-no for me. So... For me, I have to kind of mix it with another conditioner to to get it to like work. Um, so this is one that I will not be buying again, unfortunately. So this one is one of the shampoo bars. It's called Jumping Juniper. This is for oily scalps and it smells amazing. I can't remember what is in this one and I don't have it in front of me, but you can check it out on the website. If you have an oily scalp, um, then this one you got to give it a go. I've used it about three times now and I still have like, it still looks like a the bar. And apparently this is supposed to like replicate a 250ml bottle of shampoo. I'm not sure if it said four times of that or just the 250ml, but you're supposed to be able to get quite a lot of uses out of this. So I did get, like I was so impressed with it because I just added a bit of water to it and scrubbed it on my hair and a lot of like foam came off so it's it's really really good and definitely helps um cut down on plastic as well so definitely recommend this and it smells gorgeous okay and the last item that i wanted to share with you is this um body spray and this one is the snow fairy body spray and i actually i've actually had this since 2018 um and it doesn't expire until 2022, it says on the back. And I have a bit of it left because I haven't used it as much um, as I do now. I've actually started using it quite a lot. So I'm probably going to run out um, 
fairly quickly but it's a 200ml bottle and if you like Snow Fairy then you're gonna love this, it smells amazing, they have so many different um, body sprays on the website, I don't know which other one I'd like because obviously I can't smell them because I'm not going to any of the shops and they're all closed and even if they were I wouldn't go anyways um, but yeah this one like it's such a nice thing to have because you can use your um, shower gel and you can use your body lotion and then you can finish off um, with this and I find that this scent lasts quite a while on me as well I just spray it on my clothes I don't spray it on my body because because it has um, alcohol in it, it kind of like makes me a bit red if I put it on my body because of my, my sensitive skin so I just tend to spray this on my clothes um, but I really like it and I would definitely buy another body spray um, when I run out of this one so yeah so that's just what I wanted to share with you today for my Lush products a lot of things that I do like and use and there was just two that I didn't really get on with um, so I hope you like this video um, and if you can recommend me any Lush products that you think I would like then comment below and let me know and thank you for watching my video and I will see you in my next one bye bye